Hey folks, greetings. Welcome to my channel, Nail That Click. A very good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you based on the time zone you guys are located at. So in this tutorial, we're gonna see how to upgrade the Line 6 HX Edit from version 2.92 to the version 3.0. So let's get started without wasting much amount of time. So guys, the first and the foremost step is to connect your Line 6 Helix or Stop to the computer using a USB cable. The USB cable might have come along with the device. So it looks somewhat like this. So this is the one end that will be going to your computer, USB port. And the other one, other end looks somewhat like this. So generally you, have, you might have seen this cable with the printer. So this one will be going to your Helix, okay? So let's connect it. And the moment I connect and turn on the Helix, you will see the display. Right now it is saying no device connected over here. So you will see the default patch or its settings over the screen. So let's do that. So guys, now you see the screen has changed and uh, we could able to see the configurations of the patch over the HX edit screen. And bottom in the center, you can see uh, the Helix LT is displaying the version 3.0 since I've upgraded it to the version 3.0. However, uh, if I click on the help and uh, I click on the about HX edit, uh, it is showing the HX edit is having the version 2.92. So let's see how to upgrade this. Uh, in order to do that, we have to close this window, the HX edit window. So I'll close that. And then uh, we have to go to the line six website. I'll show you. Um, Okay. Now under line six website, you ensure you have logged into your account. And once you have done that, all you have to do is like click on the download menu. And uh, once we click on the download menu, uh, you will have the free software downloads page. In this page, click on all hardware. Since I'm using a Helix LT, I'll be selecting Helix LT over here. Under all software, I'll be selecting HX edit. And since I have Windows 10 operating system, I'll leave the default option, Windows 10, and I'll click on go. So once I have done that, the first option I'm, I'm able to see as HX edit, and uh, the version is 3.00. So we have to scroll down slightly and uh, click on the download link and we'll download this software. So here we go, it is 89 MB and then we'll click on get download. Okay, you can see a end user license agreement screen. It's come down and you have to click on accept and download. So it has prompted us to save the file. We'll click on save file and wait until it's completed. Okay, so it has completed. Okay guys. Okay, the download is complete. So we will click on the folder and we will copy this and uh, paste it over the desktop. So guys, we have downloaded the latest HX edit version 3.00 installer. And what I did is like I created a new folder over my desktop and named it as line six HX edit 3.0. You can name any folder as per your desire. Now what we will do is like we will double click on this installer and run it. So we are getting a UAC that is a user account control window. It is prompting us do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. We will click on yes. 
now we are able to see the welcome screen of the setup and we will click on next next we'll click on i agree to the license agreement and click on next all these options are default selected we'll click on next showing the destination folder of the installation we'll click on install wait until the installation is completed okay so it's completed we'll click on next and it's asking us add a hx edit shortcut to the desktop so this will create a hx edit shortcut to the desktop and then it's also asking add a line 6 updater shortcut to the desktop which is checked and below that it says make hx edit the default application for opening so by default all this are selected i'll click on next saying hx edit version 3.00 has been installed on your computer click finish to close setup so i'll click on finish so guys, the installation has been successfully completed. Now let's go to our desktop and click on the HX icon or shortcut and wait until it detects the line six helix. Okay, so it has detected the helix LT and then we have to click on the help menu on the very top. I'm not sure whether you are able to see this. Okay, you have to click on the help menu on the very top and then click on about hx edit so once you have done that it will give you the current version of the hx edit which is 3.00 so congratulations guys we have upgraded the hx edit from the version 2.92 to the latest version 3.00 i hope the steps were very simple and all you have to do is like read the instructions carefully and follow them right so guys, I hope you like this tutorial. If you have liked, then please go ahead and then hit a like button and do subscribe to my channel. This is Pass signing off. I will again come back with some more beautiful and informative videos like this. Take care guys. Bye bye.